on his way to Jerusalem, he went along the borders between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into the village, he was met by ten men who suffered from a dreaded skin disease. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Jesus saw them and said unto them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Uh -huh. And on the way, they were made clean. Yeah. And when one of them saw that he had been healed, he came back praising God in a loud voice and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus spoke up saying, there were 10 who were here. Come on now. Where are the other nine? Right. Why is this foreigner the only one who came back to give thanks unto God? I'm Jesus said unto him, get up, go. Your faith has made you well. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Again, the whole church said, Amen. Amen. Something that we shall end up to use this morning with God's help and with your prayers. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. Come on, preacher. As it is our custom, we invite each of you to look at your neighbor and say it together. Come on. I just want to say thank you. Amen. We had a need to say that, isn't that right? And I hope you said it to the person next to you, somebody who done something for you. Look at them one more time and tell them, I just, I just want to say, say thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. I'm thankful this morning. I thank God that he came down to earth to reconcile men back to God. And we are so much better since he came. Is that right? Amen. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And then he came to seek and save that which was lost. Come on, huh? I was in that lost number. Amen. I know you were found. Is that right? <laughs> Amen. But it was hard for him to find me. I was lost. Amen. And so he found my hiding place. And then I'm proud that he came to love to heal and forgive. Yes, yes. And there's an empty grave mm. to prove that my Savior lives. Yes. And because he lives, mm, I can face tomorrow. Yes. It doesn't matter what tomorrow may bring, but because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Yes. Because he lives, all of my fears are gone. Because I know who holds the future. Mm. And life Come on, somebody on the hill. It's worth living just because he lives. Amen. So I thank God for Jesus this morning. I said, I thank God for Jesus this morning. Amen. If I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't thank him enough. I couldn't lift him too high for men to see. You don't know how good the Lord has been to me. Doing this time of Thanksgiving, we families around the world will gather around the table uh, to eat turkey and dressing, giblet gravy, collard green, mustard greens, and uh, they'll have pies and cakes and all of that. But most of all, they'll sit around the table and they'll talk about and give thanks to God for what he has done. Am I right? Yeah. Amen. And it's good to do that. Amen. A question was asked to a lady. Uh, what are you most thankful for during this time of Thanksgiving? And she named three or four things, pretty hard things. First of all, she said, I'm thankful for children. Children who pick up and clean up after themselves. <laughs> They're such a joy. 
to see them go back home to their own family. <laughs> then she says, I I'm thankful for husbands. I ain't getting no amen on that. <laughs> I'm thankful for husbands who uh, attack small jobs around the house. Because usually, when they get through, it's a larger job that they have to call professionals in. Amen. <laughs> then she says, I'm thankful for gardening. It's a relief to deal with dirt outside of the house. <laughs> and then finally she says, I'm thankful to God for smoke alarms. They let you know when the turkey is done. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. <laughs> text this morning, I'm excited about it, because there are three or four things that we can learn in this text, the gospel, in that 17th chapter, and one, it talks about the faithful, or the thankful, and the unthankful, or you can say the grateful, and the what? Ungrateful. And thankful and grateful people are the ones uh, who will come back and say thank you for the things that you did for them. Yeah. Do y'all hear me in here? Yeah. Amen. In other words, they are grateful for what you did. Yeah. Now the ones who are ungrateful are just the opposite. Mm -hmm. You can do something for them. Uh -huh. I'm talking about real good. And they do mean to tell you thank you. Uh -huh. They won't call you and tell you thank you. They won't text you and say thank you. Amen. They won't, they won't do anything. They won't write you a letter and say thank you. Amen. Those are the ungrateful. And in the text, we had the grateful and the ungrateful. Come on now. One out of the ten was grateful. Come on, Richard. The other nine were what? Ungrateful. They were ungrateful. Unappreciated. You don't know anybody like that. And two, we learn in the text that God hears and God will answer prayer. Amen. How many know that the Lord will answer prayer? Come on, have you ever prayed? Didn't the Lord answer your prayer? Didn't he answer? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. And then sometimes he just say, wait a while. Yeah. He will answer prayer. Yes, he will. And then thirdly, we learn that you can stumble into a blessing. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're not looking for it. You're surprised by it. You're, it, it. It's unexpected. And all of a sudden, you just stumble into somebody who blesses you. That's what happened with the lepers in the text. Amen. They stumble upon a man called Jesus and he blessed him with the blessing that they stood in need of. Yes, sir. You can stumble upon a blessing. And then fourthly here is that believe it and receive it. Uh -huh. If you have faith you can receive what you ask for. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Come on now. But you got to first believe it. Is that right? Yeah. You got to believe that it's going to happen. In other words, if you're asking God for something, you must first of all believe that God is going to give it to you. Right. Otherwise, why waste God's time? Huh. Amen. I've been asking for the thing, and I sure believe He's going to give it to me. <laughs> is that right? And as always, be careful. Because God just might give it to you. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh, you young ladies all in here, man. I'm praying. I want a good man. Amen. Be careful, baby. <laughs> Help me somebody. Amen. 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 You got to be specific. I want a good man that's working. <laughs> Help me somebody. Oh, oh, Lord. Amen. Somebody who is kind and generous. Somebody who don't mind paying some bills. Is that right? I need help. On the team. <laughs> I'm not a window right here. 
I heard one lady say, I can do bad by my. That's another sermon. Amen. I just want to say thank you. The leper in this text was grateful over the miracle healing that Christ Jesus placed upon his life yes, to the point that he had to come and say thank you. Yes, sir. And you know it's mighty good to tell the Lord thank you yes, sir. for all the things that you've done for me. Come on, and, and, and the Lord has done some great things. Yes, Is there anybody here he's done anything for? Yes, Is there anything he's done anybody for? Amen, amen. And I just want to tell him thank you. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, number one, the Lord it's been good. How many know that the Lord is good? Amen. He's good in the morning, good in the noonday hour, good at midnight, and even when the sun goes out, somebody say he's good all the time. But all the time, the Lord is good. And he's so good, number two, is that he blesses us with the blessings that we stand in need of. Amen. I believe everybody needs a blessing. Right now. I don't know what your blessing is. Amen. Yeah. But I need a blessing. <laughs> and I need it right away. And I'm glad that we serve a God who's in the blessing business. Yes, sir. How many know he'll bless you? Yeah. How many has been blessed? Yeah. How many look to be blessed in the future? Yeah. Amen. God is in the blessing business. Yes, he is. Said I'll open up the windows of heaven. Mm -hmm. I'll pull you out of blessing. And there shall not be room enough to receive therein. Amen. I, I believe that every blessing that God's give us is like the girl on the salt box, holding the salt box. Amen. And the grains are sort of falling out. That's how God blesses us. Yeah. And see, when God gets the poet, you always get more than what you deserve. How many want to pour out blessing? How many want to pour out blessing? Amen. I don't want him to rash it out for me. I want God to just start pouring it out. Heavenly Holy Ghost. I'm getting happy in here. I'm talking about I just want to say thank you. Thank you. And then, then I want to thank the Lord for making a way for us. Amen. How many know God is a way maker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some things you can't see how it's going to turn out. There's some things you don't know, amen, how you're going to get to it. Is that right? Amen, amen. Somebody say, I didn't know how I was going to get the job. But somebody spoke up for me. God put it on their heart to put a word in for you. Am I right about it? Somebody said, I didn't know how I was going to get to work. My car broke down. But the neighbor came over and said, I have three cars and uh, one of them I'm not using. You can use this one. The Lord will make a way. How many the Lord has made a way for today? Yeah. Amen. You ought to tell him thank you. Yeah. Then, 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 then the Lord has saved us. Yeah. Oh, somebody ought to shout. I said, the Lord saved us. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad I'm saved. Yeah. Amen. I ain't what I ought to be. Mm -hmm. But thank God I'm not what I used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The Lord saves us. Isn't that right? In other words, he changes our life around. Yeah. Amen. Won't he do it? Yeah. I say, won't he do it? Yeah. Won't he pick you up and turn you around? Yeah. The Lord is a mighty good Savior. Yes, sir. And then, then he delivered me. And that's what I'm jumping up and down about. Amen. Yes, How the Lord delivered me. Amen. See, sometimes, and I remember I had a habit. Mm -hmm. I'm quiet right there. Mm -hmm. I know you've never had a habit, amen. But I had a habit that I couldn't get rid of myself. Never got a witness right now. But the Lord, yes, nobody sir. but the Lord, yes, sir. took the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Never got a witness right here. Yes, and now I, I don't drink as much as I should. Watch out, man. I'm struggling. Y'all help me with this, amen. The Lord will deliver you. Won't he do it? Yeah. Oh, I'm thankful. Amen. I just want to tell him thank you for delivering me. And then not only does he deliver, amen, he heals us. Amen. How many have been sick? Come on now. Won't the Lord heal you? Yes, sir. I said he's a wounded heal you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When the doctors start shaking their head, amen. Amen. Talking about we just want to make you feel comfortable. The Lord will step in. Yes, sir. He'll heal your body. 
There are many here today who are on their beds of affliction and it was a touch and go situation but now they're here saying that the Lord healed my body. I'm glad and I thank him that he's a mighty, he's a mighty, he's a mighty, he's a mighty good healer. I just want to tell him thank you. Grateful hearts make us aware of the source of our blessings. Let me say that again. Come on now. Grateful and thankful hearts make us aware of the source of our blessings. Amen. In other words, it's good to know where your blessing comes from. Amen. It didn't come from my education. It didn't come because I was so smart. It didn't, it didn't come because of my uh, position, prestige on the job, and how much money. No, 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 no. Your blessing come from God. Yes, sir. All I have belonged to him. Have I got a witness right here? Amen. Amen. And I'm glad that the Lord blesses us. Amen. To be a blessing to someone else. Knowing where your blessing come from. The psalmist said, I will lift mine eyes unto the hill from which my help cometh from the Lord. Our help and our blessing come from God. Where does it come from? God. It comes from God. Thank you. you know, I used to think that everything I had, I got it on my own. I used to think that. You know, you, you finished college there and you did this here and you got this here and you got that. And then I realized mm -hmm. it was not the education. Mm -hmm. It was not my position on the oh, job. Well. But it was God. Amen. Give credit to where credit is due. Yeah. All credit goes, goes to God. Yeah. Am I right about it? <laughs> the ungrateful will have their blessings cut off. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hate to say it. That's with humans. Now God will keep on blessing us. I don't want you to get God mixed up with us. Amen. Because it's a difference. Even though you don't deserve it, God will keep on blessing you. Amen. Amen. Some of us won't do that. Come on now. Okay. Talk to you. Amen. I got you out of jail. And when I got you out of jail, amen, you didn't even tell me thank you. And you didn't even pay offer to pay back my money. Now call me again when you get in jail. Oh, job. And see if I <laughs> <laughs> Blessing was what? Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Now, aren't you glad God is not the same? Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. And you call God back again. He said, Well, I know I got you out before, but I'm gonna get you out again. Isn't that right? I ain't got a God. I got better things to do with my money. I just want to say thank you. Never would have made it without him. Never would have made it without his blessing. We would have thrown in the towel. We would have quit. We would have hung it up and said, well, it's over for me. But thanks be unto God, he steps in just at a time. Yes, he does. We need him most. Amen. Amen. And we got a witness here. Now let me close here by saying that Jesus was on his way. Are you with me? Yes, sir. He was on his way to Jerusalem. You know Jerusalem, that time. Oh, yeah. The holy city. Jerusalem, the place where the cross, the place where uh, there were those who shouted, Amen, Amen, Amen. When he said, Do you want Jesus or do you want Barabbas free, uh, to be freed? And they said, Free Barabbas off with the head of Jesus. That was in Jerusalem. Come on now. I'm talking about Jerusalem. He was on his way to the cross in Jerusalem, but on the way, he detoured. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, do you hear me? No, I said he detoured. Yes, and went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. Yes, now, I don't, I don't think it was an accident. I don't think it was by chance that Jesus detoured. Right. Oh, do y'all hear me right here? Yeah. Amen, amen. There was a reason why Jesus did not go straight to Jerusalem, but he detoured. Mm -hmm. 
Why would you go to Samaria? To a place where folk don't like you. Yes, sir. Jews and Samaritans didn't get along with one another. But yet Jesus chose to go to Samaria. Make it plain, brother. I believe he had a feeling. Yes, sir. That somebody stood in need. Yes, sir. I believe he had a feeling that there was somebody there who was crying, Come by here, Lord. Somebody needs you right now. Yeah. And somebody is crying that today. Some mother is saying, Lord, stop by here. We need you. And so the Bible says that when Jesus went into the village, yes, sir. he was met by ten men yes, sir. who suffered from a dread skin disease. Now, the skin disease that they suffered from was called leprosy. And leprosy was incurable at that time, and it would start out as a sore that form on your arms and all over your body, it would turn to a scab, and under the scab, pus would just ooze out. And it was all over your face, amen. Hands would run off, nose would fall off, amen. Limbs would become so stiff and brittle that you couldn't hardly walk, and they were put in what is called an into colony, isolated from society. And the Jewish law said to them that, that, that you are to stay away from people. Right. If anyone comes near you, you're going to raise your hand and say, stay back. Right. We're unclean. Yes, Don't come no far. Have I got a witness right here? Can you, can you get in your mind how these people, the leprosy, they were isolated, couldn't talk with nobody, couldn't walk with nobody, amen, didn't have nobody to encourage them. Matter of fact, the priest was the only one who could verify their cleanliness or uncleanliness, and the priest would read their burial right to them. Come on up. So they were dead men. But yet alive. Come on now. Do you hear me, somebody? Yes, sir. And so here, here, they saw a man walking down the street. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the Bible said they stood from a distance and they shouted, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And see, no matter what condition you're in, they still knew who Jesus was. <laughs> they were suffering, but they knew who Jesus was. <laughs> amen, amen. They didn't have, they had ups and downs, they had trials, but yet they knew who Jesus Master, we want you to have pity upon us. That's right. And the Bible says that Jesus saw them. I want you to know Jesus see you in the very condition that you're in. Yeah. Have I got a witness right here? And Jesus kept on walking toward. Getting to talk with one another said, listen, there so might be something wrong with this guy. He's still coming toward us. And so after a while, they all raise their hand and say, hey, mister, stay back. Stay back. We are unclean. But Jesus kept on walking. And that's what I like about the Lord when you're in need. Amen. There's no law that's going to keep you from getting to you. Am I right about it? Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough to stop Jesus from getting to you. Thank you Have I got a witness right here? Amen. So Jesus saw them as they were and simply said unto them, Now go and show yourself to the priest. The priest was the only one who could verify that they were not clean. Notice what I said. Jesus said unto them, go and show yourself to the priest. And they left and started on their way. And then they noticed that they were made clean. If they had never started on the way, they wouldn't have never been clean. <laughs> you see, you have to have faith and believe in Jesus. Am I right about it? The fact that they started on their way was an indication I believe what he's telling me. Exactly. Have I got a witness right here? If they had never started on their way, they would have kept the leprosy. Right, right. You've got to believe it. 
that what? Now, when one of them saw that he was, he went to my neighborhood. <laughs> Amen. He went to my neighborhood. When he discovered that he had been healed, the Bible says that he began to praise God in a loud voice and he went back and threw himself on the ground at the feet of Jesus and began to thank him. Can you imagine what he was saying? Ooh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for taking this leprosy away. I thank you, Lord, for freeing me. I thank you, Lord, for giving me another chance. I thank you, Lord, that you were able to come into my life at a time that I needed. Thank you. I just want to thank you. Have another witness right here. Every now and then when the Lord has done something for you, you ought to at least tell him thank you, sir. Have another witness right here. He won't get up this morning. Started you on your way. Put food on the table. Gave you shelter from the storm. And rang somebody ought to say, thank you. You've been so good. Yes, yes. And then Jesus spoke up and said, listen. Why is it that this farmer is the only one who came back to say thank you? I hear ten folk. Where are the other nine? You see how some folk are? Amen. But don't stop doing good. Now, don't, I don't want y'all to leave here and say, you know, the Reverend told us about them ungrateful folk. I'm going to cut them. No, 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 don't cut them off, baby. You have to still be good to people regardless of whether they say thank you or not. Amen. Some folk just don't know no better. Yeah. You have to continue to do good because that's what God does for us. Yeah. Suppose God would cut us off. Amen. Huh? Huh. Amen. And he has a whole lot of reasons to cut some of us off. Yes, sir. Have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. But God is a good God and he keeps on blessing us over and over again. I just want to say thank you. Come on, let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Give the Lord a big round of applause. I just want to say thank you. But though the church is open right now, you heard the word of God speak unto you. I believe that you have a reason to tell the Lord thank you.